Guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I have brought an interesting session which is on installing your Python packages offline. This is useful when you are working on a system which is in a private network or on a remote system where we don't have a direct internet connectivity and you have the python interpreter installed but you need the python package installation but you can't do it so in that case uh, this will help you in installing the python packages offline so guys if you're new to my channel please do subscribe my channel and if you have any issues uh, if you have any doubts or anything for clarification you can always reach out to me at my email address that is rafikjavad2 at gmail.com so let us see how we can do it so first of all let us create a directory in the system where you have internet connectivity so this is my system okay and so this is my system and where i have internet connectivity so in this what i need to do is like let me create a directory here so a repository so this is my directory where i'm going to download my uh Python packages which is which needs to be installed in the remote system or the system where we don't have internet connectivity. Now let me go to command prompt. Then first thing what I need to do is like pip download. Normally what we used to do is like we used to go for install right but here we are going for pip download. Uh, say for a module say open py excel. This is one of my Python package open py excel. And now what I need to do is like hyphen D. Then I need to go with this location where I'm going to save this Python package. So this is my repository. So let me go with the full path. So full path I will go with get in security. That is okay. Okay. So it is just collecting. So it is downloading. So in this case, it will not install it. It will just download and save it. So if you go, if you come to my repository, if you see it's saved. Now, next thing is like what? What we need to do is like we need to copy these files. We need to copy these packages into the remote system without my internet connectivity. So let me show here itself how we can install that. So I will be dis I will be disabling my internet connectivity. Okay. And I will show you how to install it. Let me disable the internet connectivity. Disabled it. And uh, let's see how we can install it. So we need to install all the three items. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to navigate. I need to navigate to this path that is cd desktop slash repository. Okay, so I came to this path. So once I came to this path, what I need to do is like I need to go with pip pip install the module name. So I need to go with each each one one module name. So I'll start with the bottom. No problem. Anything you can use. Pip install this. Next is like hyphen f slash now so i need to go with no index normally uh, what happens is like whenever we install uh, some module it will directly try to fetch the index that is the uh, uh, there is the path there is the uh, there is a path where the file is located so in this case i i need to skip that so no index then no depths If you see like it's just installing so if you see like this package has been installed so i need to install the similarly for the next uh, two items also so let me wait from here Remaining things will be same. 
just install it so this was like I already have this uh, particular module installed so I don't need to do it again so it says requirement is already satisfied then last I need to go with this So you need to do this for all the modules, all the all the dependencies also along with the open by action. If something is already satisfied, so if, if some some uh, dependence already installed, pre-installed with other uh, modules, so it will always show requirement already satisfied. So it's better you should try for all the items because this uh, this dependencies may be required for some other modules also. Okay, I think uh, there is some uh, file issue, uh, some. Thing, let me do it again. It is something issue with the final. Let me check what happened here. Okay, I need to put tar dot gz. So this is an tar, so I need to put tar dot gz. If you see here, the file name is to if you see the file name, it's the full full name. I need to take it. Okay. And okay. so this is how we can install our Python packages offline uh, in the systems where we don't have internet connectivity. So hope you have liked this video. If yes, please press like button. And for more videos, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.